Hi everybody, this is Linda Leber from Kingdom Celebration. I just want to welcome everybody. And I know today, whatever God planned for this um, interview um, or broadcast, I know that God has got a plan for each and every one of us. I want today to welcome you to Kingdom Celebration. You know, Kingdom Celebration is not just a, a message. I really trust the Lord today that whoever view this broadcast will be touched, will be changed. And if you are hungry for more of God, then you actually connect it to the right channel. I just want to say today, God have you on his heart. He have you in his heart, in a place, in a secret place, in a loving place in a place where He really wants to comfort you, where He really wants to shower you with His love. You know, God is such an awesome person. I can say person because He's so real to me. He changed me and He, he actually trained me and equipped me to minister to people. And if I can challenge you or call you today, to just come and connect with me in Kingdom Celebration, to listen, not just to Linda, what Linda I have to say, but to really connect, to hear what the Father is saying to you today. You know, this last few months was really hectic in my life and um, a lot of things happened. But I have to become to know that God is so faithful. In His Word, He said, if you seek me, I will show you my life my love, sorry, and I will show you things to come. And uh, a few weeks ago, I had a kingdom celebration. It's a day that we celebrate just the presence of God, who He is, what He's doing in our lives. We, on that day, we call it kingdom celebration, is to reach out to God, to tell Him that we love Him, to make room for Him to minister to us. And I know that when we really open up our hearts and say, Father, even if I don't know you, I, de I desire from within to reach out to you today. If you are feeling lost today and you have lost your hope, I want to tell you, in, in, in the word of God said, if you see God, if you call on him, he will touch you. God wait to reach out to you. Sometimes God is more aware of you than what you and I are aware of Him. And I know this, this day that when we call, when we pray, you know, God answer prayer. He never leaves you. He hungers for you to seek Him. And if we look into the world today where the enemy is actually throwing fear at people. I want to tell you today, the only person, the only presence that can bring peace in your heart is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And if you make room for the Word of God in your heart, I know one thing, whatever I want to know, whatever I seek, or whatever I long for, I always take the Word of God and I connect with the Word. When you connect with the Word of God, you connect with God Himself. I want to talk to you today about temptation. You know, temptation is not a sin. It's not something that you seek out. It's not something that you actually um, go after. Temptation happened to all of us. Temptation comes in times when you actually need a revelation or you need a touch of God. 
Temptation is something that the enemy brings into his children's life. He's bringing into his creation. You know, the word of God said Satan will always tempt you with things that he knew is a weakness in your life. He will always come with things against you where God actually delivered you from. He always used his old tricks. Satan cannot create anything. He doesn't have the ability to do or to create something new. He always used the old things in your life. If, he delivered, if God delivered you of alcoholism, of, of drugs, whatever God delivers you of, there will always be a time that Satan will come back to you with that same temptation. That's all that it is. He tempts you to fall back into your old habits. But that's why we need to know the Word of God. Because the Word of God said in John 10, I see, I see the enemy comes to rob and to steal. I've, I've mentioned it in, in, in the previous broadcasts, but if we can understand how deep that really is, Satan is always out to trick you, to blind you, and the thing that he used the most in the days and times that we are in is to catch you with fear. The world today is full of fear. Because of negative things, negative emotions. And you know what? Fear have a meaning. It means it's false evidence that appear to be true. That in itself is a lie. Because God said, seek ye first my kingdom. That means literally you have to make room for God's word, for God's spirit. And the truth of who he is will break through in that moment when the enemy comes to tempt you. Temptation comes in a time when our spirit and our heart is tested to see who do you hunger after? Are you side blinded by the things that's happening around you? Or are your face are your eyes focused on the Lord Jesus who gives us hope. I see those, those who hunger after me will find me. God is so, he's so compassionate about you. He wants to heal your broken heart. I just sense in my heart there's so many people that have an opinion of who God is but they don't really know him. I want to tell you today, if you seek Him with your whole heart, say, Abba Father, I don't know you, but I want to know you. That's all. Just open up and say, Father, I want to know you. I don't even know if I have faith in you, but I know that if I call on you, that you will hear me, that you will answer me. You know, I've learned this few weeks, we had this Kingdom Celebration Day and I had a lot of resistance to do it. But because of my, my fear for God to honor Him, to be obedient, to do what He asked me, regardless, against all odds, I decide that I will press in and I will make this day happen and I will trust the Lord. And in this day, I had to to create or uh, go to, to, to um, a, a place where they actually do the signage and create a logo for this day. And I questioned this because I was fearful. I don't want to do my own thing. I want to do what God is actually putting in my heart. And a year ago, he gave me this um, logo with a, with, with a huge... Um, uh, uh, it's a prayer show that's, that's coming over the world, like nations. And in front of this must be the menorah that presents the seven spirits of God. And on top of that, on, uh, at the foot of this menorah, 
must be the ram's horn. And I want to tell you, when I did that, and I look at this banner that I created for Kingdom Celebration on the 24th of September, because we celebrate it every year, I was stunned. Because you see, it speaks of God's government that He will establish on earth through the body of Christ. And that ram's horn is not just an instrument that we use in the body of Christ to declare war or to resist the enemy or do stuff like that. But the ram's horn speaks of a prophetic act on the end times where God will build His church and where He will restore, deliver and heal people. And you know, the menorah speaks of God's seven spirits. And one that I really um, experienced in these last days is to walk in discernment. You know, as I live and see there, if we need to see God and walk in, His, in the fullness of who He is, then we need to know what He said to us and what He expects of us. And when I uh, prayer walk that morning, it's a, it's, it's, an, it's a whole thing that you have to put together. And um, the morning when we went prayer walking, when we came to a place where we had to stand in the street and we will just celebrate and worship God, you know, on top of us in the skies, angels appear as if God will say, I'm pleased with what you do. Everybody was looking at us and everybody was taking note of this huge banner where there stands kingdom celebration and they greet us and we show them that God loves them. You know what? God said, be friendly to those who are, who are outside what you believe. We reach out to people because we love people. We want to create the kingdom of God's glory in their lives. And on this particular day when we stand and pray, oh my glory, I want to tell you, as we worship Him and we look up and all these angels in the sky came down just to witness what is happening. Because I want to tell you, whatever we do in the Spirit on earth have an effect and it impacts the heavenly realms because his kingdom is a vast, a, a very big and, and outreaching uh, area in our lives. We don't just reach out to people here on earth. We actually minister to angels and we minister to God. And when we walk with him, he appears in many areas in our life where his presence, his love and his touch. He touched us. And you know, that morning when we took pictures of these appearances in the, in, in the sky, all of a sudden there's a reflection of an open heaven. And we could see that God is so close to what we do and He blessed this day. And you know, the next day, we, we had this whole event and we closed it with worship and celebrating just how awesome God is and how we do healing and how we train us and show us how to reach out to our communities and, and how we minister to people. I want to tell you, um, when you have a heart for God, you will never, 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 never fall into temptation. Because His Spirit of Truth will always guide you out of it. He always will tell you, don't step into your old habits. Cover your heart with the Word of God. My heart is to die, Father, if there's someone listening that needs that heavenly appearance of your presence to touch and to change your life, I want to say this day, reach out, lift up your hands and say, just pray, Father God, here am I. Will you please touch me? Will you come and restore my brokenness? 
Will you please come and deliver me from confusion? Because I have no hope. I have no future. Because I look into, if, if that is how you feel, just say, Father, will you please come and change my heart? Can the blood of Christ, just Jesus, just wash me? I promise I will live to live a life where you can change me. I come in, I surrender my heart. Just pray this. I surrender my heart, Father, to you. So that no temptation that the enemy brings in my life will come over me again. That you will deliver and love me according to the promises of your word. Father, I know if I reach out to you today that you will help me. You know, if you pray this, God is looking down on you today and he will touch you. He longs to touch you. He longs to take anything that the enemy throw against you out of your life. I want to tell you, He's the only one that can do it. He deliver us, He heal us, He set us free. We enter into a season where we really need to know what God is expecting of us. Because God is building His church on a new foundation, a deeper walk with Him, where He can open, give you an open heaven, where you can step in, worship Him, praise Him. You know, I learned this few months, without Jesus, I can do nothing. And the more I call upon His name, He changed me. He showed me what it is to live a life of holiness. To live a life where He brings healing in my broken heart where he really ministered to me because God is there to reach out to you to touch you today if there's a lady today and you feel nothing is working for you I want to tell you God is just a blink of an eye away from you if you reach out even if you lift your hands up today and said, Father, I need you. I need you to help me. I need you to give direction in my life, to answer my prayer. He will do it. If God can do it for me, He can do it for you. I just know today, if we walk with the Father, if we walk with the Holy Spirit, and we love Jesus with our whole heart. He will deliver us of anything. There's no such thing as a bad person. There's just bad situations. There's no thing of someone that doesn't is or that isn't um, loved by God. The enemy is a liar. He lies to us on a daily basis. And I want to tell you, if you are filled with fear, the Word of God said it's a spirit. You have to learn through the Word of God to cast that spirit out. To say in the name of Jesus, get away from me. I sense in my heart, there's people that watching this broadcast today, and your heart is trembling of fear. And sometimes fear blinds you. Fear makes you deaf. Fear makes you numb. And fear causes that you actually pull back. That you go into a place where you are lonely. Where you feel unloved. That it felt sometimes nobody cared. But I want to say today, if you're in that place, call on Jesus and He will draw you out 
of that place of solitude. He will draw you out of that place of fear. He is the one who will give you hope. He is the one that will give you direction. He is the one that will deliver you with His love, that will draw you to His heart, and He will hold you close to His bosom, and He will hug you. And when He embraces you, you will know that you know that you are loved by God. He never rejects you. He will never, because you are His creation. He created you for His kingdom. But you know what? He actually created you to have a relationship with Him, to love Him. You know, we have easily relationship with people. We, have, we build easily relationships even with strangers. But I want to say today, if you're at a place where you need someone to listen to you, to hold you, then I want to say, call on the name of God. Say, Abba Father, I need someone. I am lonely. I am broken. Will you hold me, please? Will you save me? I promise you today, He will come. He will come. And I want to say this day, seek Him. I want to pray with you. And I want to say, Father, thank you. Whoever watching today, whoever are fearful, hopeless, broken or tempted, Father God, will you reach out to them today? Will you touch their hearts? Father, will you turn their brokenness into healing, their hopelessness into hope? And will you, Father, cover them under your wings like Psalm 91 said, that they will seek shelter under your wings and feel that love, that protection, Father God. I thank you for your mercy and your grace in this day. Thank you that you lift them up Thank you that you shower your joy over them. And thank you for healing that came into their spirit, into their body, and into their soul today. What an amazing God you are. We give you all the glory and the thanks for what you have done into each and every one who watched this broadcast today. Father, thank you that you are merciful towards each and every one. Father, thank you. We ask it in the name of Jesus. I want to say today, if you've been touched, if you have a testimony, let us know. Connect with Kingdom Celebration. Connect with this broadcast. Send in your testimonies. Let us know. What do you gain from it? Because you know, a testimony is a proof that God is alive. A testimony is proof that He touches, changes because He loves us. We cannot work for salvation. We can only be obedient unto the Word of God, the Son of God, and God Himself. And thank you that you listened today. I hope and trust that whatever you receive today, that you will share it with us. And I say thank you that you're, that you're watching and listening. And we just want to bless you. We want to say, wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Our heart in kingdom celebration is that you will be touched and changed by God. And we say thank you that you partake and enjoy this broadcast with us. Let me know. This is Linda that of Kingdom Celebration that want to say thank you for joining me and listening and watching with me. Thank you very much. Be blessed till we meet again in the next broadcast. Thank you very much. We seek your kingdom first. Hunger
The same. 